Hi everybody, it's Tracy Learn. Hi, and it's Maven Ree Smith. How are you doing today, Tracy? Fabulous, thanks. Um, we've, I must say, it's a bit hot here in Dubai, so we've had some technical um, issues, and I'm just thinking uh, whether the pipes are or whether the cables are being fried. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the case. <laughs> Oh, no, um, you know what I what I love about having you on the on the on the show every week is that you're teaching us so so much. So um, you know, for the last two weeks, you've spoken about how to say goodbye to debt and and not to mortgage your future, and I really love that because a lot of us are suffering with this problem. So over to you, Merv. Thanks, Tracy. All right, guys. So um, the first week, what we did is we listed absolutely everything that we owed to somebody. So on that list, you would have had the name of the person that you owe or the company, whether uh, whether it's an in-store account, a credit card, um, how much did you owe, how much was the interest rate on that, on that debt, and then um, how much you would pay on a monthly basis. So that was week one. Week two then, we went through a list of absolutely everything that you spend your money on. So that, that would include everything from the very first list, all right? So you would have your in-store accounts, your credit cards, whatever the bills are, your mortgage, your car payments, etc. Then it would also include um, your spending items, all right? It would include things like your fuel, school fees, if you have help in the house, if you um, take your children to aftercare, have whatever the general expenses are. Um, it could include things like, <clears throat> excuse me, going to um, a restaurant, maybe you have date nights. Whatever the costs are that you spend on a pretty regular basis, have that on your list. And I also asked you to write yourself a contract and sign it and say, I'm prepared to deal with my debt. So um, that's where we're at right now. So. Today would be like the closing part of this three-part series <laughs> of stopping the mortgaging of your future. All right, so today what we're going to look at is you need to have a look at the very first list that you did. And the, the place where ha that has the highest interest, all right, doesn't have to be the highest amount. The one that costs you the most in interest you're going to focus on that debt, right? So, for instance, they normally are in-store accounts. Some credit cards are also exceptionally high. But you're going to find the one that it has the most interest in. So, whatever your monthly payment is, you want to now focus in and pay that one off as quick as possible. <clears throat> so, how do you do that? Will you go to your spending list? And hopefully there's still a little bit left at the end of that list. Um, some people don't have anything left, and I understand that. But then have a look at the, the items in your spending list that you could cut back just slightly. So say, for instance, you eat out four times a month, or maybe eat out three times a month, and then the fourth, the, the, the money that you would have allocated to the fourth Take that and immediately pay extra into that one debt that has the highest interest. And you're going to continue that <clears throat> until that debt is paid. And once that debt is paid, the amount that you used to have to pay in a monthly installment, plus the extra that you were putting together, you would then focus on the next, the next highest interest-bearing debt. Um, and pay that off. And so you just slowly pick off your debt one at a time. It takes a commitment. I fully understand that this takes a commitment. But you know what? If we want to get away from mortgaging our future and get to a place where we have sufficient to do whatever we need to do when the time arises, we've got to make that commitment. So my final quest that I ask you to take is that at this stage, that you speak, if you have a partner, that you speak to your partner, your spouse, <clears throat> discuss the strategy. 
and ask them to buy into it with you. If you're on your own, it's easy. Then you're buying into it on yourself. Then decide on your which ones you're going to do. Write out a statement and say, I am something like this. You, you make it your own. But something like, I am totally prepared to eliminate my debt in two years, two and a half years. When I did it, I was hugely in debt, hugely. And when I worked out the spreadsheet with everything that I owed, how much I had to pay off monthly, found some extra to put against those debts, I, well, I could have been out of debt in two and a half years. And that included my vehicle finance. So guys, this is very, very, very possible. But you need to have an agreement and sign that agreement and say, I am fully committed to honoring my word and getting out of debt. Sign it, date it. Every month be religious in paying off that um, little bit extra on the high bearing interest until you've cleared them all. And Tracy, that's about it. Well, I love that because, you know, it's, it's, you actually have to have a plan, you know, to actually get rid of your debt. You need a plan to follow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, don't just make a plan for, for the first month or the second month and then, then think third month, oh, oops, didn't do it. it. It means it does take commitment, as you said, and it depends on, on you know, what you, where you want to be in your life. And obviously, also, not rack up new debt. Well, yes. Um, if you're paying off the, the credit card, don't go back and spend it. Yeah, You've got to get rid of it. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? Um, unfortunately, uh, there were, we went through a stage, uh, particularly in South Africa, where every Tom, Dick and Harry was, was phoning you to offer you credit. And, uh, you know, it's and, and, and because... You know, even even people that earn big salaries end up getting all these credit cards, and it's just way too much to handle. Just way too much to handle. And believe it or not, there's a there is a um, there's a company called Circle that actually take all the, the the cards, and you actually only have one card. You end up only having one card um, that you can actually use, but it's linked to all your cards. So that's something I need to look into as well. Uh, maybe we can chat about that at a later stage. Thank you, Merv. It's incredible. But, uh, you know, obviously there's a whole lot of people that are listening and they're going to say, yeah, but you know what, I've just lost my job or the job market is changing. Um, you know, things are getting more and more expensive. Well, you know, in terms of things getting more and more expensive, there's, there's kind of nothing we can do there at, at this point in time except make sure that you provide for your future by, by investing in Bitcoin. I mean, in the last couple of weeks, we've, we've talked about how, you know, just holding on to Bitcoin can give you a huge, huge, huge return. Um, and that's not even investing in any kind of uh, MLM business or, or anything. It's just really holding on to it. But the other thing is, um, you know, there's also lots of doom and gloom, what, you know, going on with uh, talks of a big recession. Uh, we've had uh, um, changes in the EU and in the UK. We've got changes coming up in the, in the States. So um, all of these things are, are actually happening and putting pressure on us. But the one wonderful thing that is happening is, yes, there will be some job losses, but there are so many new careers popping up. It is incredibly exciting. And, and honestly, you, you really have to embrace this and start thinking because Bitcoin and blockchain is just opening up a whole new world. Um, you know, it's a totally new uh, digital economy. Um, e-commerce e and a new digital economy. Innovation and is absolutely rough. I mean, every single week when we do the news, I, I look through all the articles and, you know, there's this app that's done and there's this startup that's going on uh, or that started up. And it's just creating an entire new, entire new world and exciting new career opportunities. Um, and, you know, I suppose people are going to say, but where do we learn? How do we learn about these things? How do we get involved? And there are courses that are popping up all over, um, you know, in various countries. There's three that I can think of, the States, um, um, Spain, a new courses is there. There's a new course in Cyprus. So, you know, and that's just to name a few. There's a whole bunch that we, we obviously haven't even heard of, but they definitely are, are happening. So with all this... Um, 
this knowledge that's being that's being shared there are so many startups happening big corporations like IBM Microsoft um, the big there's there's a lot of big um, oh even SAP is now getting involved there's banks that are involved um, there are uh, there's, there's it's just it's just too many to 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 actually mention governments that are now wanting to wanting to say that they want to be at the forefront of this of technology they want to totally get involved um, and of course entrepreneurs you're going to find them all over so the, the beauty of, of of bitcoin is that you don't need anyone to give you permission to start a business around bitcoin you can actually do it if you've got a good idea you can make it run get some people in to help you and you can you can do it the other thing that is pretty exciting is um because of all these new startups and because of all the interest in 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 the digital economy there are so many companies now that are merging so it's creating new opportunity and there are thousands of new jobs just happening every single day so here's a quote that i picked up from a from a web uh, website head over to the job board for digital currency and you can watch them roll in real time and that's only the employees literally thousands of entrepreneurs stake their claims somewhere in the bitcoin space every month Merv, it is incredible. I watched the site and I saw the jobs just rolling in and it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is amazing, right? Wow. And that's why, you know, yes, there might there may be some kind of there may be jobs that that you know people will lose and that will disappear. But that's that's really um how we progress, you know. Uh people in factories being replaced by robots or or whatever the case, um, this is what technology brings. But you have to embrace it because the opportunity is so huge. Well, so yeah. yeah, I think that you also need to understand that sometimes those those periods of hard times we've discussed it right in the beginning. One of the quotes by Napoleon Hill. But some of the tough times that you go through, if you just have a look, could be your doorway to incredible success. And um, that's what excites me about what I'm seeing that you're presenting here, Trace. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you know, you might say to yourself, oh, I can't get into Bitcoin because I have no idea uh, how, how to do code. I don't know how to, to, um, to do computer programs. You know, you could be saying that. Having said that, <laughs> just look at this. These are, this was just this was just the first page that I looked at and it in fact it was just the top these are jobs that are available director uh, market structure and liquidity sales a writer or editor so there you go journalists um, a community marketing manager who need to speak Mandarin obviously that's in China but um, yeah our, our developers for phones you know uh, you know there's lots of phone apps that are that are happening these days and it's such an exciting space a program manager so anybody who loves project management you can you know there is somebody who still needs to be um, a program manager and project management is a skill and is an amazing career because you have to have extreme attention to detail front-end developers uh, software developers this is where you come in with the whole IT background business development lead there are many people out there who actually have to think about business process because business process can make or break you now the IT guys will then build something around the business process um, but they still need to have that business person with that thought blockchain technologies researchers so here's a researcher here's a data scientist and honestly this was just a tiny tiny little snapshot and I found it on www.bitcoin-vacancy.com and you will find many many more like that if you just uh, google um, careers uh, blockchain or job in bitcoin or whatever on the on the left you will see um, there's just a, a few of these websites for uh, for jobs on the blockchain and then on the right is all the bitcoin ones but there's companies like indeed uh, .com angel.co upwork.com um, 
uh, another you know, Upwork, uh, xbtfreelancer.com. So there's a freelancer thing. So there's people, there are, there are startups happening all the time. And those people starting up those businesses don't necessarily have the skills to actually get the business going. So they need expertise. And if you have it, you know what? They will pay for it. So the, this is where it's going to be very, very lucrative. And all these people that are jumping on board and going in and, and, and getting these uh, courses under your belt, uh, under their belts, these are the people that are going to have incredible opportunity um, as the space just grows. Remember, we're just at the beginning of everything. So what do you think about this, Merv? I think it's fantastic, Tracy. You know what, as you were talking, I was thinking about um, I'm from Zim, and when I immigrated from Zimbabwe to South Africa, my desire at that time was to get into computer programming. <clears throat> and you must remember that was moons ago. <laughs> and I never followed that dream because I thought, oh, you know, what does a woman know about programming? How could a woman? And I also thought about, well, you know what, maybe this computer stuff isn't going somewhere. And it was before the internet. Imagine if I'd followed that dream and I'd put aside my doubts and my disbeliefs and just went for it because I really, really found it fascinating. So yeah. I just want to encourage the listeners today to forget it, <laughs> put down that naysaying in your mind. And if there's something in here that really tickles your fancy, you should really pursue it. Because, Tracy, you've given the most incredible information here, stuff that people could really get involved with. I'm fascinated. I didn't realize there was so much going, the career-wise, in Bitcoin already. Yes. Well, you know, it's, it's actually thousands. Thousands and thousands of jobs are popping up all the time. So, so even if so, even if you are studying now, or you have been in, in involved, and you let's say you're interested in um, what you know, if you're interested in either one of these, you could even contact the big companies. You know, contact the banks. The banks are doing a huge amount of work at the moment. You know, so if you have a skill that you believe uh, you know could be used, and 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 you specifically uh, uh, hone in on on blockchain or or Bitcoin blockchain, whatever. You, you know, you can do it. The other thing is, if you want to start your own business, that's also uh, an opportunity. There are many startups up, up there, uh, startups happening. Uh, people get funding with with um, uh, get funding with many many people out there that are that are wanting to invest in startups. If your idea is good and you and you can pitch it well, there's somebody who's going to going to help you along the way. So um, they are out there. You just have to find them. So I think the the opportunity here for 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 just getting hold of some of this wealth and some of this opportunity, it's there for the taking. You know, it, but it's totally up to you. It brings me to the saying, which I absolutely love. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose by our wonderful and famous Dr. Zeus. And this is, this is so true. You know, it is up to you. Yeah, it is totally up to you. It's our choice. Um, I love Dr. Zeus. He's just such a wise, such a wise creature. <laughs> he is indeed. So, Merv, that's it for the week. Um, a bit of inspiration, a bit of motivation, and um, just go out there and get it. Yes, absolutely. Follow, follow, follow your intuition because we've got it. Listen to it and steer the way you want to go. I love this. Thanks, Tracy. Until <laughs> next week. Cheers. Thank you, Merv. Cheerio then. <laughs>